The title of this video is the Lubavitcher Rebbe. It's being given by David Klein. It's being given on the 10th day of the Jewish month of Nisan, 5771, which is the Yord site, the anniversary of the passing of Miriam the prophetess. Uh, Miriam was Moshe Rabbeinu's sister, Moses' sister. Is also the day before Yud Aleph Nissan, the 11th of Nissan, which is the Lubavitcher Rebbe's birthday. Lubavitcher Rebbe being Menachem Mendel Schneerson, and therefore I'm dedicating this Torah lesson to to these two holy and righteous Jews, um, Lubavitcher Rebbe and Miriam the prophetess. Um, to sum up in the most simple and brief terms what this really captures and describes the Rebbe, who he was and who he is, is that the Rebbe really cares. The Rebbe really cares and truly cares about all people. And he gave his utmost with uh, with just tremendous toil and labor his entire life to do his utmost for the betterment of mankind. And um, the Rebbe's whole life was to serve God and to give his utmost to all people. The one could ask the question, what enabled the Rebbe to, to be such a big person and accomplish so much for the betterment of mankind? So, so the answer to that question is that the Rebbe he has a very, very high neshama, very high soul. And the Rebbe worked with the uh, God-given abilities that he had to develop himself and to work to a much higher spiritual level. This is all, of course, in the setting of um, Yiddishkeit, the Torah's commandments. The Rebbe, um, if there's one thing that the Rebbe himself attributed all his success in life to, uh, you could say it's that the Rebbe was totally devoted and given all, of course everything comes from from God Almighty so the first and foremost thing that the Rebbe would say that enabled him to accomplish so much in his life was was God Almighty the creator of the world and the creator of every individual human being giving him so much ability to accomplish but Right after that, you'd have to say what the Rebbe himself said his entire life, that all of his, of, of his, his, his uh, accomplishments and everything and anything the Rebbe did, he always attributed it to his father-in-law, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rebbe, Rebbe Yosef Yusuf Schneerson. The, the Rebbe, as any Lubavitcher Chassid knows, was devoted and given over to his father-in-law, the previous Rebbe, the sixth Lubavitcher Rebbe. This Rebbe, or Menachem Moshnirson, is the seventh Lubavitcher Rebbe. And 
the Rebbe also married the, the daughter of the previous Rebbe, Rebbe Sinchayim Mushka, who was also a very holy and righteous Jew. The word in, in Hebrew being uh, tzedekis or tzedkanis. Um, so, um, the Rebbe um, went through a lot of trials and tribulations his entire life. He was born in in the Hebrew year of Hey Tuf Reish Samach Base, five thousand seven uh, six hundred and sixty two. And uh, which corresponds to nineteen oh two. And it's not the subject of this video to really describe the world's events from that year till now uh, as they pertain to the Rebbe's life's work. However, um, to sum it up briefly, the point I want to get across now is that, that, that in all those years there were gigantic world-changing events that affected greatly all people in the world and for example there was World War One there was uh, the previous Rebbe's uh, the previous Rebbe's fight against the communists in Russia in the 1920s of course the Rebbe being a chassid of the previous Rebbe and fighting together with the previous Rebbe, and not a physical fight as much as a spiritual fight to, to spread Judaism in Russia and the rest of Europe, which at that time was, um, was um, against the, going against the communist regime in Russia. And then after that, there was World War II, and uh, um, I hope that most of the viewers are familiar with the events. Obviously, the, the biggest event, as far as Jews are concerned, of World War II was the Holocaust, and every single Jew uh, in the world today knows about that. But to sum it up, from 1902 till till let's say the early 1950s there had been a gigantic uh, upheaval in the world and the Rebbe lived through all of that and you have to really research it and study it to really come to fully appreciate what the Rebbe went through and what the Rebbe accomplished in those years so in America today thank God we enjoy freedom and the freedom to practice Judaism according to the true will of God, which is studying the Torah and fulfilling its commandments in, in the best possible way with joy and enthusiasm. just want to check the time. Um... Just checking my notes here. So, there's many, many things. Actually, there's a gigantic amount of things to be talked about when it comes to the Bhagavatam Rebbe in the space of a 15 minute video and what's to follow, which is the second part of this video, uh, another 15 minutes. Uh, it's obviously impossible to cover. Uh, everything even in a brief uh, manner so therefore I'm just going to try to cover some of the major highlights of the Rebbe's uh, spiritual service in Yiddishkeit in Judaism um, the 
as I, as I might have mentioned earlier, um, the, the most outstanding facet of the Rebbe's personality was his total devotedness to the previous Bavich Rebbe, Rebbe Yosef Yusuf Schneerson, who was his father-in-law. Uh, the Rebbe married the previous Rebbe's daughter, Rebbe Sinchaya Mushka. And um, to somebody who's not schooled in the Chabad Lubavitch way of life, um, you really have to delve into the uh, the study of Chabad Hasidism, Lubavitch Hasidism, in order to understand uh, and to appreciate what this means, the the devotion of this Rebbe to the previous Rebbe. But the Rebbe himself always attributed all of his accomplishments to the previous Rebbe. As a matter of fact, the, the Rebbe referred to the previous Rebbe as the uh, Nisi Durenu, the leader of our generation. That uh, the Rebbe uh, the previous Rebbe passed, the, passed away in 1950, and the Rebbe wrote in his Torah books and, and in addition spoke uh, in public addresses that the previous Rebbe uh, continues from above uh, his service to God and referred to him as the leader of our generation. To really understand that conceptually, you have to study Chabad, uh, the Hasidic dimension of Chabad Hasidus. But, uh, and the same thing with this Rebbe. Uh, the Rebbe, or Menachem Endel Schneerson, passed away in 1994. But to sum it up briefly, he leads us from above. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about that. It's a very complicated uh, uh, issue to fully understand what it means the passing of a tzaddik, uh, of a holy and righteous Jew who's uh, very much higher than ordinary Jews. But, uh, and you can see in the world today that, um, that, that the Rebbe's work that he started continues uh, even much greater than before, because Lubavitcher Hasidim all over the world are are great expanding and 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 being tremendously successful to to spread Judaism to all Jews in the world and to help all the other peoples of the world. Um. But uh, one second. Um, another major highlight of the Rebbe's life was that because the Rebbe was the seventh uh, Lubavitcher Rebbe from the first, the first Lubavitcher Rebbe was Rabbi Shur Zaman of Liadi, the Alta Rebbe. And as merit, the Rebbe is a, a, uh, many generations later, grandchild of the Alta Rebbe, the first Lubavitcher Rebbe. And the Rebbe um, emphasized the Hasidic dimension in the Torah very greatly. 